ओके हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम वेलकम टू द सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इन एग्जैक्टली सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स okay now all those who are in on the comments box just give me a hello um so that i know that you're getting my audio and video clearly and then we can get started on this yep so i'm just waiting for all the students uh, to settle in so in case you're watching this as a recording please feel free to forward it by another 60 seconds or so feel free to forward it by a little bit Okay, who do we have in class already? Sam, Utkarsh, Pratibha, Jia, Yekup, Kajol. All right, wonderful. All right. Okay, so let's get started uh, straight away. So, what exactly happens in these sessions, and how do we do them? So, this is basically a guided newspaper practice session. Okay, so the aim here is to improve your English from a basic level. Okay, so we are going to do four rounds of it. First round will be listening. So, just listen to whatever I'm saying. Consume English through your ears. Let it hit your mind. Um, there would be certain words or phrases that you don't understand. It's totally okay. So just try to predict the meaning yourself, because in your IELTS test, this might happen that you might come across a word that you don't understand, but you still have to make some sense out of it, right? Second round will be a reading round. So I'll go fast this time. You need to use your eyes. Go very fast. Now here I'll also explain the meaning of all the words to you. Okay. Third round will be speaking. We'll pick up a particular paragraph. We'll speak aloud, and we will ensure that our tone is getting okay. The stress, the pauses, the tone. Okay, all of these aspects. and finally we will do a guided writing round which means that you will be giving your opinion on uh, what you think and then you will be giving sentences out of the new words we learned okay so all those on the comments box welcome sunita vinash dolly priyanka vamsi shubhangi balakrishnan shobhana praveen shubhra sonia jyotika ritika that's deepthi dhaliwal deep divya jyoti maitri good, good morning everyone let's get started straight away okay so we are going to talk of uh, a particular kind of socks that improves sports performance okay a kind of socks that improves performance so let's see how that happens okay now since the inaugural race what do you mean by inaugural since the inaugural race in 2004 the number of runners in the mumbai marathon has doubled okay over 55000 at this year's edition held last month all right and what do you mean by inaugural Okay, hello Azhar, welcome Manpreet, Saima, Deepak. Good. Last year also saw the first Ironman triathlon. What do you mean by triathlon? Have you heard of this event? Triathlon. So the moment you see something called tri, it means three things, right? Okay. Now try to guess what the meaning is. Okay, considered one of the toughest races in the world being held in India, with the increasing interest in fitness. there has been a rise in companies expanding their product roster okay to meet the demands of the well informed willing to spend fitness loving millennial okay a very long sentence here let's do it again with the increased increasing interest in fitness there has been a rise in companies expanding their product roster to meet the demands of the well informed willing to spend fitness loving millennial let's see what it mean don't worry if you're not able to understand much one such product is performance socks okay which have tiny cushioned spots strategically placed to provide benefits okay what kind of benefits a better grip so it catches your leg nicely support to muscles so your leg muscles are like massage or something of that sort fabrics that are abrasion resistant what do you mean by abrasion what do you mean by abrasion okay to reduce chafing and discomfort during strenuous activities okay during strenuous activities fine now though these benefits are contested companies are enthusiastic though these benefits are contested so you're not sure companies are still enthusiastic about it okay are you able to understand till this point or is it very difficult just give me uh, an alphabet e for easy m for medium d for difficult e m d 
is it easy are you, or are, or is it of medium level or are you finding it difficult yeah good good everyone others divya utkarsh vamsi sam urvashi good okay utkarsh you finding easy good okay avinash easy difficult shubhra okay okay medium kajol all right okay not bad not bad all right good now the latest to enter the indian market is true socks which is associated with football stars gareth bale and luis suarez have you heard of these names gareth bale and luis suarez any football fans in the house okay their products use patented technology what do you mean by patented technology think about it to create non slip performance pads that are placed both inside and outside the socks to provide a grip inside and outside to provide a good grip okay fine we we'll just complete this paragraph and then we'll stop now someone is saying this so uh, sanil sachar who is the co-owner of true socks see what he's saying there is an evident rise in the sports apparel market what do you mean by evident rise what do you mean by evident okay think about it all right there is an evident rise in the sports apparel market which is to be which is said to be growing at 22% in the country a stat that i don't believe any other country can boast about okay the potential is enormous when you see the scale at which every sport is played in the nooks and corners of india nice idiom coming here nooks and corners of india the asian sports performance apparel market is also stated to be at a 7% or so rise okay so the market is increasing people are buying more and more so it's good for the company that's what it says okay so now what we'll do is just we'll uh, we'll go and do another round of it okay uh, a, a reading round this time but when we do a reading round we are going to go faster okay good mahi kaur utkarsh shobhna himani good okay jyoti very nice now some of you i see are new students so if you're new if you're attending the class for the first time please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get the alerts of these classes okay it happens every day at 11 am okay fine so let's jump into the reading round now very quickly okay let's go since the inaugural race in 2004 which means the first race okay you say inauguration right when someone cuts a ribbon you're inaugurating something okay so the first race happened in 2004 and then it's continuing since the inaugural race in 2004 the number of runners in the mumbai marathon has doubled so the first one had probably only 28000 or so 27500 to be precise now more than 55000 people are participating so it has doubled the number has doubled okay last year also saw the first iron man triathlon now what do you mean by triathlon triathlon means a combination of three sports it can be running swimming and cycling maybe okay three events happening together okay one one after the other the same athlete is doing all all the three activities and finally whoever reaches the finish line is the winner that kind of race okay now last year also saw the first uh, first ironman triathlon considered one of the toughest races in the world being held in india okay with the increasing interest in fitness there has been a rise in company so as the fitness the interest in fitness is increasing so everyone wants to be fit nowadays right everyone's exercising they're running they're eating healthy and so on so with the increasing interest in fitness there has been a rise in companies expanding their product roster what do you mean by product roster roster is basically a list of items okay so product roster list of products that every company offers so people are uh, these companies are making making this particular list bigger they are adding more fitness related products okay there has been a rise in companies expanding their product roster to meet the demands of whom of the well informed what do you mean by well informed well informed means knowledgeable educated okay so if i say that you are well informed of ielts i i mean to say that you are knowledgeable about the ielts test okay you know the pattern well you are preparing properly in a smart way well informed willing to spend willing to spend as in they want to buy something okay they have a lot of money they want to buy okay that's called willing to spend fitness loving millennial now the word millennial is used usually for youngsters of this particular time uh, and the exact duration is contested so some say that all those who are who are born in the 90s are millennials some say that only those who are born after 
are millennials, but usually the young crowd. Okay, the young crowd is uh, pretty much uh, well informed. They are also well to do, right? So this generation is getting richer, plus fitness loving, as they are very concerned about their health. Now, one such product is performance socks. So you wear a sock, and then your performance increases. How? Well, what's so special about these socks, which have tiny cushioned spots? What do you mean by cushioned? So cushioned is basically those soft sponges, right? You have these soft sponges at different positions in that particular sock. Okay, strategically placed. What do you mean by strategically placed? Strategically placed means it's not randomly placed. These cushioned spot, these small pads are not placed randomly here and there. It is placed very smartly. That one will be near your ankle, one will be slightly above, one will be near the toe, so that the effect is maximum. Okay, fine. Placed to provide benefits. What benefits? Better grip, so the socks will not fall down. Yes, this has happened to us in life, right? Especially in school. Remember that you have at least one pair of socks that is usually drooping down. It does not stand firm and it falls down. Yes or no? Have you ever been in that position where you have a pair of socks that's very loose? The elastic is bad. Okay, so that's called better grip. So you have good grip. Support to muscles. Okay, so it kind of massages the muscles. Fabrics that are abrasion resistant. What do you mean by abrasion resistant? So when you're playing a very intensive sport like say football, it's easy to get these scratches, right? You can tumble and fall down. So you might get scratches, but this particular sock will prevent that from happening. Okay. Now to produce chafing, this is how it is pronounced. Chafing. Chafing is basically when um, your uh, two parts of uh, your body it it kind of rubs together and then the skin becomes rough, right? So if my two fingers are always like this placed together, then I might eventually find that the skin here is wearing off. Okay, that's called chafing. So the socks help you to prevent all that. Okay, and discomfort during strenuous activities. Strenuous means great deal of strain, great deal of energy. Strenuous. Okay, great deal of hard work needed. Okay, yes. Though these benefits are contested, companies are enthusiastic. Now this is a nice sentence. Though these benefits are contested, means even though there is a lot of controversy, people are unsure whether these benefits are real or not. But companies are enthusiastic. Companies want to release these products. The latest to enter the Indian market is two socks, which is associated with football stars Bale and Suarez. Explanatory. Their products use patented technology. Patented technology means technology that only true socks can use. So they have put a trademark that only I can use this technology. No one else can take it from me. Okay. So they use patented technology to create non-slip performance pads. Non-slip performance pads. That are placed both inside and outside the socks to provide a better grip. Okay, yes, very good, very good, good, good going, everyone. Now the last one. Okay, there, there's an evident rise in the sports apparel market. Strenuous, you can, you can maybe think of arduous. Okay, involving a lot of hard work and energy. Okay, strenuous, arduous, all these are, um, are other, other versions of it. Okay, or you can use simpler forms. Okay. Uh, requiring a lot of hard work. That's how you would expand the whole word. But then always remember in your IELTS test, the more precise your uh, word application is, the better it is for you. Okay, so the word strenuous alone conveys a lot compared to an activity that requires a lot of hard work and energy. Long sentence, you conveyed everything in one word. Okay, good. Now, there is an evident rise in the sports apparel market. What do you mean by evident rise? Noticeable rise. You can see it. Okay. Now, which is said to be growing at 22%, a stat. What do you mean by a stat? A data, a data point that I don't believe any other country can boast about. So India is the only country where you can see 22% growth. In other countries, it's not so much, okay? Now, the potential is enormous. What do you mean by enormous? Vast, okay, vast, huge in, in some extent, okay? When you see the scale at which every sport is played in the nooks and corners, what do you mean by nooks and corners? At every single place. So uh, we'll come to the word building in a bit, but this is what it means. Nook, nooks and corners means every place of India. The Asian sports performance apparel market is also stated to be at 7% or so rise. Now, what do you mean by apparel? Apparel means clothing, okay? Um, so sportswear. So think of sportswear, socks, shoes. You can have uh, the trousers. You can have the shirts. You can have the caps. You can have the armbands, the wristbands, whatnot, right? Lots of stuff, okay? Fine, everyone's clear with the entire passage, what this is uh, talking about and um, what exactly are, uh, what exactly is the product? What is the market? Yes, just give me clear on the comments box if you're able to understand. Good, Himani, Sara. Good to have you in class, Sara, for a long time. Okay, good, Ur, Himani, very nice. Others, Utkarsh, Vamsi, Mahi, Kaur, good. Shravani. Yes, 
I just looked at the earlier responses. A lot of you have those kind of socks as well, where which just droops down after a point, right? Yeah. Okay. And until you buy a new one, you just have to put up with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I even have memories of putting a rubber band around around a loose sock. Okay. All right. Now let's jump into speaking. Okay. Okay. Good. Snehal Balakrishnan, Siri Anshu. Good. Okay. Fine. Now let's jump into guided speaking. So what exactly are we going to do? Is I'm going to give you a bit of a passage. So let us talk about this particular sock. This innovative uh, socks that we have in question. Let's talk about that. So, if someone asks you, "Hey, do you know of a, a good pair of socks that I can buy?" So, you're going to tell your friend about these performance socks. So, you're going to tell it loudly. Okay, fine. So, we are going to go um, two to three words at a time. The objective here is not to simply read in a dull, uh, mundane way. So, you are not going to say. one such product is performance socks which have tiny cushion you know you're not going to do it like that because this even a school child can do right you have a piece of text in front of you just have to read loudly the this activity even a school child does what i want you to do is i want you to express as you speak okay with emotions with the right pauses stresses and the right pronunciation of course okay so just repeat after me just imitate me and you will get your basics right let's begin one such product so stress on the word one one such product repeat after me loudly one such product is performance socks loudly which have tiny cushion spots tiny should be emphasized which have tiny cushion spots strategically placed to provide benefits better grip support to muscles fabrics that are abrasion resistant to reduce chafing to reduce chafing chafing and discomfort during strenuous activities strenuous activities though these benefits are contested loudly companies are enthusiastic the latest to enter the indian market is true socks emphasize on these words okay the latest to enter the indian market is true socks which is associated loudly with football stars gareth bale and luis suarez okay their products use patented technology to create non slip performance pads loud that are placed both inside and outside both inside and outside the socks to provide a grip voice down at the end to provide a grip Yes, done. Everyone, just type done if you genuinely did this entire activity with me. Just type done on the box if you did the whole activity with me together. Yes, everybody. <laughs> good, good, good. Utkarsh, Avinash, very nice. Okay. Hmm. All right. So now I want to first know your opinion on on this. Okay. Good. Melbourne, Sunita. I see a lot of new students. Shobana, Vibha, Janvi, Deepak, 
ಸಲೋನಿ ಗುಡ್ ಜಿಯಾ ಏಕಬ್ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಕಾ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಶ್ರಾವಿನಿ ಗುಡ್ ಸ್ನೇಹಲ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಹಂಗ್ರಿ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಡು ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ ಆರ್ ಡು ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರಿಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಬೈಂಗ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ um it is unnecessary the socks that were available 10 years ago itself was good enough the socks just fulfill the basic purpose of feeling comfortable inside a shoe uh, and i don't think uh, we need such over the top products okay okay lakshmi gir jashandeep mahi yeah what do you think i want now now when i ask your opinion i don't want a one word answer saying it's uh you know bad nice not like that tell me what do you think about it okay you can say it's interesting you can say i don't know but i would like to explore okay you can say that uh, if the technology is patented then there must definitely be something unique about it okay if big uh, uh, if big football stars like gareth bale and luis suarez are using them then there is definitely some merit to the technology okay you can also say that i am uh, wary of the price probably uh, these socks are very expensive and cannot be afforded by the common man in india okay i'm just giving you some ideas to think about okay okay so shubhra says hey i don't understand it's a very difficult topic good that's also an opinion okay so good job okay sam it is beneficial for people who are a fitness freak good very good sam but i would buy once i know the benefits nice good kajol says products are very helpful for sports persons okay because then many people can focus on their hard work very nice very nice good so kajol says that uh, instead of focusing on the discomfort i can focus on the game okay i don't have to worry about uh, my socks drooping down every time and so on okay priyanka says yes innovative sana says millennials are becoming westernized good nice so they prefer brands and everything so what's the problem with socks okay that is also another apparel what's the issue with that good Matri it's extraordinary good Vamsi says the advent okay good good word is going to have significant impact off on maybe you you said on sports stars okay not off on Utkarsh really necessary we need the we need such socks okay they were good for enthusiasts dolly every item is there for purpose very good good dolly good so dolly's point is very nice so dolly says that if an item exists in the market it it definitely provides some value right socks provide some comfort if it is useless then why will people even buy why will there be a market for it very nice interesting one dolly sara says okay good jyoti ritika hungry birds pratibha very good very nice sentence um pratibha gurjot in my opinion good start strenuous you are also using the words good job okay fine okay so now what we will do is we will jump to that particular word itself then let's start with strenuous strenuous is something that requires great amount of effort okay it really strains you okay strenuous for example you can say i found the entire experience of uh, cracking the ielts exam to be strenuous okay a great deal of energy okay it drained you that's called strenuous but remember this is an adjective it's not a verb so you cannot say strenuous saying you cannot say strenuous that is just strenuous okay good avinash ji a ek very good okay good good yeah good shobhna now the word is the word for you is strenuous what do you think about it strenuous i gave you an example you found the experience to be strenuous <laughs> strenuous activity yes engaging yes strenuous workout good sam strenuous effort good strenuous drill snehal very good very nice come on just just take help of your other friends now you can look at the comments box you will you will see a few ideas right so use them 
go through a strenuous amount don't use it for the amount just use it for activity with a job with an experience yeah okay good good isabella very nice okay okay now others all those who are joining in uh, all new students i'm just repeating it one more time subscribe hit the bell icon so that um, you get the alerts next time once you're done with the basics you're always free to unsubscribe so that you don't get the basic alerts again yeah okay all right good 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 okay now let's move to the next word that i had in mind for you now the the way we are selecting these words is that it also applies to you in the ielts exam we'll not pick out uh, something that's very specific to perform in socks okay because then that doesn't make sense right so if i tell you frame a sentence with true socks the name of the company it doesn't make sense it's not adding to our vocab so we should pick adjectives verbs that add to our vocab okay next enormous enormous means uh, anything that is of a uh, huge size or large extent that kind of okay so you can say it takes enormous efforts to crack the ielts exam enormous efforts okay or you can say uh, there's an enormous amount of rice in the kitchen i don't know what to do with it okay that that's also a valid one okay enormous a great deal of large number large extent okay yes i have an enormous amount of homework to complete it, very good so urvashi says performance socks offer enormous benefits plenty of benefits a lot of benefits enormous gargi says can strenuous trying strenuously to be happy um good question gargi no so strenuous means uh, it is connected to the word strain right so something that exhausts you okay but you can say you can connect it in a different sense you can say that i found the entire experience of ielts to be strenuous but then the results were positive okay you can do that okay enormous amount of money taxes good enormous rise in gold prices very good snehal okay just bless us with enormous abundance good kajol there are enormous benefits in working out good kajol very nice excellent good metri okay all of you are doing a good job here okay fine can i say too much yes jeet but here too much is a simpler word right if you use enormous you're going to get that vocab score so why not use a better word that's the idea all right now let's do this nook and corner nook and corner means every single place every single area of that place okay so i would say that uh, grocery stores are found in every nook and corner of the country so citizens need not worry about um the lack of uh, essential groceries okay grocery stores are in every nook and corner or you can say grocery stores are found in nooks and corners okay if, but if you use the word every then it should be singular every nook and corner every student of this class right i won't say every students it the moment you use every it takes singular remember this rule okay grammar rule every plus singular form so every nook and corner or nooks and corners up to you okay so praveen says i'll study uh, every nook and corner of the physics book okay okay a stylish way of saying it but um, not generally used it should be a physical location okay sam says you can find a vada pav stall uh, at every nook and corner remember every use the word every corona is found in nooks and corners of the city okay okay sara i have searched nooks and corners of the mall for my very good manpreet covid is in every nook and corner n o o k okay n o o k and then corner nook and corner okay next i went to nooks and corners of egypt good okay shubra i will stay as i have every nook and corner by the way okay good okay airtel has signals in every nook and corner okay okay good job good job everyone i will travel to canada okay to every nook and corner of canada that's how okay good urvashi ranjit very nice good job okay okay good 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 everyone so a uh, good job done on doing all the four rounds um, diligently with me 
Uh, so now what we are going to do is I'm going to uh, jump into explaining some of our advanced programs to you. Uh, this is not for the existing members. So existing members uh, can leave if you want to. Um, all those, with, if I see the comment box, Urvashi, Jia Yekab, Utkarsh, some of you are already part of it. Adil, and Adil too. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to explain this program to you, but this is not for the existing ones. It's only for the uh, new newcomers who uh, might be interested in getting in as well. Okay. So what is this particular program? I'm going to tell you in uh, in a very in a very short sentence. Okay. I won't go into the details. You can have a discussion with our counselor if you want to know in detail. This is basically a program that will contain four main parts. Okay. What are these four parts? It's a complete program. First, recorded lessons, because if you want to go very fast and you have very specific time points where you can study, say you can study only at 1 a.m. or you can study only at 6 a.m. If you have such extreme timings, recorded lessons are there covering listening, reading, writing, speaking, grammar, vocab, pronunciation, a lot of detail. You can see the entire curriculum on the app. Go to Grassroot Education app. The link is also on the video description. You can download the app, go to store, go to the fast track program. The whole syllabus is open there. Number one. The second is your live classes. We do live classes daily, 7.30 to 8.30 for practice, and then 9 to 10 p.m. Then uh, 7.30 to 8.30 on weekdays for practice, and then 8 to 10 p.m. weekends for concepts. Okay. Again, done every day, no breaks, because only then a habit is built and you develop your skill. Okay. Um, next, we have mock tests, 10 full length mock tests covering listening, reading, writing, speaking in each round. So every round will contain listening, reading, writing, and speaking. And it's not just like we correct and give you a score. It's a detailed report that follows because the aim of a mock is to ensure that you learn from your mistakes. It is not just to see where your mistakes are. It is to see how you're committing those mistakes. What is your thought behind it? How you can correct it. Okay. And finally, you will have unlimited doubt clearing. So we will give you a WhatsApp hotline number. You can ask your doubt straight to us every 24 hours. We keep clearing them. Okay. So that's what this entire course is. Um, the uh, admissions form is there on the live chat box and on the video description. It's a simple form, email, your name, the blah, 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 three, four basic details. Our counselor will call you. You can have a detailed discussion, have a good chat, and then you can get in if you want to. Okay. So on that note, um, thank you everyone for joining in. It was a pleasure to be hosting this class. I'll see you in the next class. Okay. So till then, bye-bye. Take care.